Hello and welcome back to another video of my channel. In this project, we are going to work on one of my favorite topics. Uh, I'm interested in movie and I choose a data analysis project for movies. And specifically, I'm going to run some techniques and some data analysis on IMDb movies. In this project, we want to work on IMDb dataset and we want to run pre-processed data. And after that, we run some exploratory data analysis and statistical techniques to see what is the relationship between the data and some other techniques uh, about statistical matters. After that, we run some correlation analysis to figure out whether is there any relationship between variables or not. Or if there is relationship, what does type of those relationships? And finally, we run uh, Microsoft Power BI to create a fancy dashboard. So let's go to the data document, the same as to other my projects. This project has a document and a report, and you can read the report. Let's go to the report of the project. Uh, so, as I mentioned, this process contains four steps. Uh, in a step one, we want to run uh, some pre-processing. For example, we can load the data set. We have a, a preview about the data. After that, we handle some missing values. Then we run some sanity check on year. Uh, year is a column or is a variable in this data set. And finally, in this section, we handle duplicate rows and we figure out whether we have duplicate rows in data set or not. In the next step, we go to a statistical method or statistical analysis or explorative data analysis to have better insight, to have better image about the data. We run EDA for two different sections. One of them is for qualitative or qualitative variables and one of them is for quantitative variables because we must have two different concepts about qualitative variable and quantitative variable. And finally, we see uh, which value in each variable has uh, the maximum value and the minimum value. This section is very interesting, I promise you, because in this section we can see in every single variable uh, which record uh, is account for the maximum number and the minimum number. Uh, in the next step, we go to correlation analysis. Correlation analysis is uh, very important. When we run a statistical analysis, we must run correlation analysis as well. Because in correlation analysis, we can see the relationship between variables, whether they have the positive relationship, they have the negative relationship, what is the relationship between numerical variables or relationship between categorical variables. And finally, we take uh, the Microsoft Power BI for create dashboard. As well as that, we can create a movie table to uh, go into detail about every single movies. So let's go to the project. The project goal is uh, pre-processing and data cleaning in the first of the data. After that, we run EDA to descriptive statistical measurement, correlation, and dashboard. Uh, this data is near uh, 7,000 records of movie. However, it is much more than this. The language libraries and tools we use Python for data pre-processing, statistical, and correlation analysis. And we use DAX for uh, data visualization. Uh, the libraries that I use in uh, Python, I use pandas and numpy because those data is a tabular format and uh, I use pandas and numpy to run some techniques and uh, analysis on data. I use Seaborn and matplotlib for uh, making some visualization during the analysis in Python. Uh, I use regular expression uh, because uh, I have some string values in my data and I use regular expression for data cleaning and data pre-processing. I use a stat model and suite weeds for statistical techniques and I talk about all of them during the project. The idea that I use, I use Jupyter Notebook for running Python code. And the application I use, I use Microsoft Excel just because the data is a CSV format and Microsoft Power BI. About the data, we have 68 20 movies in a data set. 
and uh, each movies have some columns or variables for example we have budget we have company country director genre and so on but before that let's jump to Microsoft Excel to see the data it is a data set we have the name of the movie we have the rating every single uh, users uh, gave a rating to movie the genre the year of the production movie the release day the score votes director a writer, stars, or actor or actress, uh, country, the budget of the movie, the growth, and the company or producer, the movie, and the runtime or the length of the movie. And it is the data, and we want to work on that. Let's back to data documentation. In the first, we want to work on a data pre processing. As I mentioned before, we are going to use uh, Python and Jupyter Notebook for running some pre-processing techniques. In documentation or in a report, you can see all the track of uh, the codes and whatever I did. But I'm going to show you um, in a Jupyter Notebook and in a Google Lab uh, to see how uh, I could uh, run this process. I go to the, my uh, Google Lab to run some Jupyter. Uh, in the data pre-processing, before that, uh, I'm going to say I use uh, Python for data pre-processing, exploratory data analysis or statistical techniques, and correlation analysis. About data pre-processing in the first, I import uh, some packages. As I mentioned, I'm going to use Python, NumPy, Seaborn, and Matplotlib. And uh, they are just basic uh, packages. However, during the project, uh, I had to import some other packages. After that, I load the data set. It is the data set that I'm going to load that. And in the next, we can see the data. It is the data, and I just uh, you know, show the first three rows. The data is exactly based on the CSV file. Then I'm going to handle missing value. It makes sense in every project or in every data set, specifically in the dimension of 68, 20 rows, we may have some null values. For doing this, I create a function and this function can help us to figure out how many null values or how percentage, how many percentage not of null value in every column we have. For example, after running this code, this code is a for loop, and in this for loop, we can iterate uh, between all columns to capture their null values. We can see in a name, fortunately, we don't have any null values in a genre, year, uh, just this, uh, or in a director. But in some other column, we have a lot of null values. For example, in a budget, we have bunch of null values, 28%. Uh, However, in other um, variables like rating or release date or score votes, we have null values. However, they are not very much. So for doing this, let's go to the data documentation in a uh, missing value Yeah, here. So for doing this, it is very important that we must have two different approaches for dealing with null values. If the amount of null values is less than 5%, we can drop the null values because we have a large data set. And if the amount uh, or the percentage of null value is more than 5%, we should impute them. So it means for uh, rating release score, vote, writer, star, country, gross, company, and run time, we uh, can drop the null values. Why? Because the percentage of that are less than 5%. For example, rating is 1% or release is very, very uh, low percent. And we can drop them. For doing this, I uh, use the pandas and drop NA or drop null value. And the subset is those variables and a run. You can see the dimension of the project before dropping the null values was 76, 68. However, the data di uh, di dimension was much more than 6,000. Uh, Let's see the dimension. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
we have this amount of number uh, the movies before uh, running uh, it, it dropping null values we have this number of uh, records but after dropping the dimension of the project is reduced around uh, 200 because 200 we have null values but uh, for the next step for the budget because the budget you can see here the budget is more than 5% we cannot drop this amount of null values and we use the other technique what is the other technique the other technique is uh, imputing the data so the budget is a numerical variables and we can impute numerical variables with median or mean but it is very important that we choose median or, or mean it depends on the distribution function or the shape of a variable if the shape is right skewed uh, we should use the median or if the shape is left skewed we should use the mean because in the left skewed the mean is less than median and we can use the mean for imputing data however in a, a right skew the mean is more than median and we should use median for imputing so for doing this I uh, check uh, the function and I create the condition so at the first step I captured the mean or average the budget and then I uh, measured the mean for budget and I use if else function and I say if the mean is bigger than median so it is left skewed whereas in contrast we have the right skewed for uh, the mean is smaller than median the result shows the mean is bigger than median so it is left skewed so we use median for imputing so uh, for doing this I use the median the median budget for filling null value or imputing null value just for budget and around to zero and after that if I impute that and then I check the null value checker again we can see there is no null value because for the budget we impute and the rest of that we drop the null value so far we have a clean data in terms of not having null value in the next we want to work on a sanity check sanity check is very important because if you see the data we have two different years one of them is for year and one of them is the release date uh, in this project we consider the year means as same as the release date so it is very important that the year here must be exactly with the year in a release date so we, we should check it or we should run sanity check for doing this in the first I create uh, a new variable or a new column and it is empty after that you receipt all index because in a null value we remove some rows and then I reset the index to have the consecutive uh, indexes for all records then I use the regular expression and it is my regular expression and I say uh, go to this column extract this values just a year and after that compare with year if this value was exactly this value it is okay and you can use this value otherwise ignore this value and just consider this one and it is all written in this code so we go further to handle the duplicate rows because it makes sense that in this amount of data we have some duplicate rows so I check the duplicate rows and it is uh, the method for data frame the duplicate method I use it and we can see there is no duplicate error because we have false and it means fortunately we don't have any duplicate variable in this data set so uh, it is just for data pre-processing and uh, we could go to EDA or exploratory data analysis for the project. 
And now, in exploratory data analysis, first we uh, work on a qualitative variable, and then we work on a quantitative variable. But for doing this, I want to use uh, a well-known Python library, which is called SweetWeez. SweetWeez is a good library to have a better descriptive statistical method for on a variable. So I come back to Python and go to run exploratory data analysis. First of all, I install the SweetWeez. SweetWeez is a very um, small library and it's very light. You can run it. Uh, and uh, in the next, I run the SweetWeez. Uh, if you run the SweetWeez on your data, you can extract the uh, HTML file. Let's jump to the uh, HTML file to have better information about the data. It is uh, the uh, extraction of this technique uh, for the data. You can see all the variables, for example, the name of the movie, the rating, the genre, release score, all of them. Some of them are string like name. And you can see here the name of the movie, for example, it is just a string and it doesn't have any meaning. About the rating, it means uh, some other techniques or other result about the rating, the genre, for example, the vote is numerical. But I don't want to talk about in this uh, preview. I'm uh, coming back to data documentation. I'm going to Think about here, let's I increase the size, yeah. In a quality, first I'm going to talk about the qualitative variable. First, I'm going to talk about the rating. If you see the data documentation, or we can see the here, come back to the data, the rating is a categorical and it is just a label. And if you are interested what does each of them means, you should come back to data documentation and I go to the data documentation here, the rating. It means the uh, R, the R label or the PG13 and PG account for the most frequent rating. It means the most of the users or the most of the uh, watchers just rate the movies in this. Uh, labels much more than others. However, you can see the bar chart here, we have just these three labels and after that we have other or even not rating. It is just a simple uh, qualitative analysis. Then we have the genre. It means the comedy and the action were the most popular uh, genre among all movies in the data set. It, and it makes sense. However, drama is being followed by uh, crime and biography and other things. But the comedy, action and drama are top three most popular genre among the movies. The country, uh, it, 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 you know, it makes sense because of the Hollywood, the United States account for the most uh, movies. I mean, the majority of movies are making in the United States. And with the big differences, the United Kingdom stands for in the second place, just for 11%. However, other countries like France, Canada, Germany, and Australia, Japan, are in the next steps. About the year, uh, in this year, uh, for example, in 2017, uh, sorry, in 2015, 2011, and uh, 2007, we have, you know, we have 210 and 209. In this year, in these three years, we have the most number of movies uh, that uh, were made in these years. And uh, how were in other days, for example, in 2019, 2003, 2008, 2018, and even 1994, we have other movies. So what about the runtime or the length of the movie? It is, how I know the runtime is a quantitative variable, but the Sweetways uh, package consider runtime in a categorical. For example, the runtime between 91 minutes to 2 hours, 
or uh, two hour to two hour and a half and it is just a categorical for example the most uh, movies near 67 uh, percent of movies um, are length in between uh, one and a half to two hour and uh, it is just uh, uh, you know very common between movies because all movies uh, you know are made just finish in less than two hours and you, you can see it is very very big difference between the next step or the next label uh, two hour to two hour and a half and the first or one an hour uh, one hour and a half to two hour and uh, the, it, they are the longest movie the director it means that Woody Allen uh, made uh, 38 movies and after that we have Clint Eastwood with just uh, 31 movies and even uh, Steven Spielberg uh, stands for in the third place with 27 movies. About the writer, again Woody Allen have uh, 37 movies. You know, he wrote for 37 movies among all data. And, and Stephen King um, stands in a second place. And about the star or actor or actresses, we, we can see the Nicolas Cage, the Tom Hanks, and the Robert De Niro uh, are in the top three, uh, you know, active uh, actresses. They played a, a lot of movies among other uh, actors or actresses. And about the company, this company, uh, we have uh, the spelling wrong here. Uh, the Universal Picture, that is very, very well-known companies, uh, you know, budget and uh, invested in 376 movies. And in the next place, we can see the Warner Brothers. And uh, the Warner Brothers company is very famous. And uh, with the Columbia Pictures, stands in the next place. It is just a very simple uh, descriptive statistical method for qualitative variables. Now we can go to quantitative variable. Uh, we jump to uh, quantitative and qualitative because it's just uh, we should read the report for quantitative. Uh, first, I create a function. For quantitative, I want to use the Seaborn and Matplotlib to see the distribution. And I want to, uh, uh, you know, find the mean and the median for all of them. And we can compare the mean and median. So, for example, for the score, we can see the distribution of score is uh, like this. It is uh, well distributed and it uh, might be some normal distribution. Uh, and fortunately, it isn't very left skewed. However, it isn't completely bell shaped like normal distribution. Uh, for votes, we can see it is totally right skewed and it means we have much more big outlier about the votes uh, however uh, we can see uh, the mean or the dash line is bigger than the median and it is just because we have the right skewed and here the mean is less than median and we have the left skewed uh, about the budget, we have the same shape, however, the outlier for budget is much more than you can see we have a different scale. About the gross or the gross of movie, we have the same shape about the runtime. So we have much more detail about the quantitative variable here. What about the score? The score uh, means uh, the average score here the average score is 6.40 it means among all movies users scored movie in an average around uh, 6.40 and it isn't very big uh, score for movie uh, at the first sight when you see the IMDb website you can see uh, some uh, highest movies but when you anal analyze the data like this, you can see the average score is a little bit more than 50%. Uh, 
and uh, even the half of the movie or the median the half of the movie score less than this and it make uh, and it is saying that how many uh, you know low quality movies are making because the half of the movie scored less than 6.5 and what about the range the range of the score the maximum uh, value and the minimum value have the differences and this difference is it's a range the range is 7.4 and it means we have the mean uh, is uh, 1.9 and the maximum is uh, 9.30 however in the uh, later we can see which movie accounts for the maximum number and which movie accounts for the minimum number and what about the quartile 25% of movies scored here the 25% of movies scored less than uh, 5.8 and 75% of movies scored or equal 7.5 and 50% of movies scored between these two numbers and it is very very good insight for managers or everybody who is interested into movie and the distribution is almost normal not completely normal uh, we have the same uh, interpretation about the votes, about the budget growth and runtime. Now we can continue. Go to the maximum and the minimum value. The maximum and minim minimum value is very interesting because uh, in the exploratory data analysis we see that uh, which variable is a left skewed, right skewed, how many uh, we have an outlier, what is the best director. Uh, which actresses was very very active or other uh, things but we can go to Python to see uh, some other interesting things for example the score uh, which movie uh, had the minimum score you can see this movie uh, Super Babies Baby Genius 2 disaster movie and the hottie and the naughty uh, you know they scored very very less you know even less than two and, uh, and uh, amazingly all of them were in a comedy genre and you can see the votes you can see the director you can see the writer even the star the country and this budget you can see the company like uh, purple pictures or this company uh, invested this amount of money just for this score and it is almost new not very new almost new and it is you know uh, one hour and a half just for this amount however uh, they could uh, a lot of money but they didn't get any bigger score what about the maximum score all of us know the Shawshank Redemption is one of the best movies during the history. The rating is R, the genre is drama. Personally, I love this movie and I watched it several times. Uh, it scores 9.3 and it is the vote. It is very, very much vote compared to these movies. The director is Frank Darabont. Uh, the star is Tim uh, the Robbins. The country, the budget, and the company maybe some of you uh, didn't know the company that made this movie was Castle Rock Entertainment however maybe some of you know the runtime is uh, more than uh, two hours yes it is very long movie compared to other movies it is just about the score what about the vote the vote means uh, how many uh, users in an IND website uh, you know leave a comment for a website or talk about that movies for example the minimum uh, contribution about the movie but about the petit cone and however it had a good score but there are just a little bit more than a hundred votes about it but about the Shawshank Redemption and the Dark Knight the Dark Knight just you know made it Christopher Nolan 
you know, they have the much more vote and people talked about these two movies much more than other movies. And we can go to budget. What is the cheapest movie? The cheapest movie was named the following and it is the, about the crime. You know, the score is amazing, a little bit high, but the budget is less than, you know, 6,000. Maybe there is, uh, just because of the year, we can consider some point, for example, uh, making movie in this year uh, was not very expensive. Uh, compared to in these days. Uh, however, there are some other, uh, uh, you know, reasons. For example, maybe some government helped Christopher Nolan or this company, Next Wave Films, to create this movie or other factors. But in this project, we are not going to talk about these factors. It is just the overview. And about the maximum budget what was uh, the most expensive movie the most e expensive movie was the uh, avengers the avengers uh you know was made in 2019 and it is the budget the director is antonio rosso and the company is marvel studios the marvel studios uh you know uh, budget this amount however uh, they could uh, make money in this amount. It is much more than the budget that they invested in the project. And the score was uh, significantly high. And it means this movie was successful. About the growth, uh, you know, uh, in this project, we can see the Trojan War invested in this amount. However, the growth was that. And it is completely a big failure for Daybreak and the George Hong because they invest uh, this amount of money and they could just, I know, uh, less than uh, 1,000. However, I think if, uh, this data doesn't have a lot of quality. Uh, if we are going to go into detail about having the cause of why this movie, uh, you know, couldn't make a lot of money, we should uh, enrich data and improve the quality of the data. But about the growth, uh, the maximum the growth is the avatar. The avatar could gross this amount of money. You know, I love this movie and it is made by uh, 20th uh, Century Fox. And it is the maximum and the minimum uh, analysis. Uh, I think this uh, step is very interesting because now you have better insight about all the movies in this data set if you want to see uh, you know uh, with Excel you could but in Python we can see we, uh, you know uh, these those process much much easier so now we can go to correlation analysis so we go to correlation analysis correlation analysis is very very important because in correlation analysis we can see what is the relationship between variables so far we analysis the variable separately with each other however we can see what relationship uh, they have with each other but for correlation analysis we should consider we should analysis based on one variable for example, you cannot uh, run correlation analysis without having a target variable. The target variable in this project for me was the growth. The growth uh, is very important for uh, the producer. The company uh, is going to make uh, the movie. So the company is going to know what is the relationship between the variables and making more money with the movies. So, because the growth is a numerical variable, we have two different type of correlation analysis. First is uh, analysis other numerical variables with growth. For doing this, we use Pearson correlation or the qualitative or the categorical variables for analysis the correlation between groups and them and we use the ANOVA test. So first we want to work on a Pearson correlation. I go to the Jupyter Notebook. In a Pearson correlation, uh, I create uh, a for loop. For doing this, first of all, I declare all 
numerical variables except the growth, the score, the votes, the budget, and the runtime. And then I create uh, the plot or scatter plot with Seaborn and Matplotlib, and I see the relationship between each of them with the growth. And then I run it. You can see it is the result. For example, the relationship between uh, the growth in a y-axis with the score. It means there is, uh, however, there is a positive relationship, but it isn't very strong. It means, ge generally it means, there is no relationship between having big score and have, making more money. So, uh, just because having a big score for a movie it doesn't mean that that movie could make a lot of money. But about the votes, it is completely we can trust the votes. For example, if we go to IMDb website and we can see how this movie has a lot of votes. So it makes sense that we can uh, you know, conclude that that movie could a lot of money for that company. About the budget, it makes sense. As long as you invest a lot of money in a movie, you could make money because you could hire a much uh, better actresses, actor, director, or other cast. And you, ha you can have the best things about the uh, equipment, the location, or whatever you want because you invest a lot of money and you could make a lot of money as well. About the runtime, uh, you know, I was surprised. I think the short movie uh, could make a lot of money, but the results say um, whenever you have a longer movie, you can expect that you can um, have the bigger or higher growth. It is just an analysis, say. However, there are some outlier here, but the general overview about the correlation is saying that. But it is just a shape. What is exactly the number of the correlation or covariance? We can use the heat map plot. Uh, heat map plot is a good way to have uh, a better in uh, you know view about the relationship between the groups and other variables. Uh, if the you know here the spectrum, if we go to the up, we can see the dark blue, and we go to the down, uh, we can see uh, you know the white color or something like that. So it means. Uh, for every variable with itself, it makes sense. We have the m highest value, but for the groups, we can see the less uh, relationship between the groups uh, and a score, as we can see here. And the highest number is with the groups and budget. In the next, we have uh, the groups and votes, and, and it means the most effective variables for having make money is making much, much more invest on a project. If we don't have money to invest in a project, it's okay. We just try to have more votes about the movies. And after that, we can uh, increase the run time of the movie. So it is just a correlation analysis for uh, Pearson uh, for uh, quantitative. But for qualitative, we should run analytics. Let's go to the documentation here. Uh, for analytics, we run analytics in two sections. First of all, we see uh, whether there is relationship between categorical variables and groups. And after that, if there is relationship between categorical variables and groups, which label in every category can bring a lot of impact on a group? Let's do in a Jupyter notebook. Uh, I, uh, you know, declare uh, the categorical. However, I couldn't, uh, you know, put the name, but I did that. So, uh, and then here, I run uh, the correlation analysis. You can see that the ANOVA test is working based on the hypothesis test. And we have null value and alternative value. The null value in uh, ANOVA test is uh, there is no relationship between the categorical variable and a target variable. It is the null value. 
and the alternate variable is uh, that there is a relationship between the variables and the target variables and this relationship is significant and we must consider that categorical variables how we can analyze that we should accept the null hypothesis or alternate uh, hypothesis we can use the p-value if the p-value is very very short or very very few number maybe near to zero we can reject the null hypothesis and we can say yes this variable can bring a lot of impact whether the negative or positive um, on the target variable and if the p-value is more than 0.05 we couldn't reject the null hypothesis and we should say those categorical variables have nothing to do with the target but for our project we can see all uh, variables rating genre director writer star country uh, company and year the p-value is very very less and all of them are important for having groups uh, whether high groups or less groups but the name the p-value is much more than 0.05 and uh, it it's saying that uh, there is no relationship between having name and making groups because it makes sense name is just, just the name of the movie uh, just because your movie has a good name it doesn't mean you can make a lot of money but for other variables yes there is a relationship but uh, we can say okay the director can have bring impact on a group but uh, which director you know or which genre or which company it is very interesting things that we can use the pairways uh, analysis and we can group them for example in a rating the most groups uh, you know can be gained by the rating G it doesn't mean if you have a rating G you can uh, make this amount of groups no it is just for uh, the impact of G or other label on a groups it doesn't mean that if you have this label you can make this amount of money no for uh, knowing uh, how much you can make a lot of money for uh, creating a movie you should run regression analysis in a machine learning however we have some uh, videos about these methods in other different projects but it is just saying the G rating uh, has the biggest impact for having more uh, groups because the number is positive about the genre it means if you have the animation or the family genre you can expect that you can have growth more growth than other genre about the director if your movie is made with Anthony Rosso or Kaylee Balda or Josh Cooley you can expect that your movie can uh, bring much more money for you about the writer Christoph Marcus and Ira Mechi and Rick Jaffia uh, can uh, you know gain uh, much more groups for you about the star the Donald Glover the Daisy uh, Ridley and Neil Seti can uh, you know uh, bring positive influence on your groups about the country the Malta you know it is very very interesting for me or New Zealand uh, or China can uh, you know bring a uh, good impact for your growth however the United States stands for in the fifth uh, stand the company uh, the Marvel Studios that is very very famous uh, you know can uh, the most growth can be gained by this the Marvel Studio and about the year the most growth can be gained in a year of 2020 2017 and so on it is just an analysis analysis and we can see each uh, category and each label of that category variable can bring positive or even negative impact on a target the target in the project was making groups and making money so we can go further and we can go to data visualization section in a data visualization section we want to use the Microsoft Power BI 
and for making dashboard we use Microsoft Power BI let's go to Power BI yes it is the dashboard that I use them and it is the data the, this data is data cleaned if you remember after data pre-processing we clean and pre-process data uh, dealing with null value sanity check or other techniques now we have a data clean and now we could uh, make a dashboard for make a dashboard in the first we can see the filter year the year uh, it's the least year is 1980 it's the oldest movie and it's the newest movie this data is just before 2020 and, and now it is uh, 2023 uh, and there are a lot of movies added to this data about the runtime it's the shortest movie it's the longest movie you can uh, change this the average budget for every movie is uh, 26 point uh, 34 million about the average gross the number of movie the total number of movie and number of company uh, it is uh, just a map for uh, having a better insight about the distribution of each country that make money for example this is uh, the Canada this is the United States and uh, you know we can see here in the Europe uh, there are a lot of different countries that make uh, you know movie and now here we can see the total gross uh, we can see here as long as we go further here we can see the total gross increases uh, and it is very interesting however it makes sense because making movie every year is uh, becoming uh, more expensive the top score movie, it is sort of the movie based on the score. We can see the Shawshank, the Dark Knight, the Pulp Fiction, Schindler List, and Lord of the Ring. All of them are very, very famous. About the active director, the Woody Allen, we can analyze them in a statistical analysis and maximum and minimum section, if you remember. Uh, we can see here in a visualize. The top active star, we can see the Nicolas Cage, Robert De Niro, and other actor about the genre thriller account for the much more the movies and about the performance of the movie uh, you know for having the performance of the movie we can see every movie have a growth so and they have the runtime so it means for every single minute how could they make money for the company about this there we can see the avatar for every single minute you know it can bring uh, near uh, 80 million for a company and it means it this company is very very powerful and in the next step we can see the avenger or other uh you know uh, movies so we can change this data for example it is just for these movies if i want to see for example 20 2015 to 20 we can see the data is changed completely in this year we have just this number of movies the average budget the average crews the number of the company and even the top movies is changed for example the paradises is changed uh, the actor is changed. Tom Hanks in this year was very famous. Uh, the top genre is horror. You know, for the whole data, thriller is the very famous. But we can see from 2015 to 2020, we can see the horror movie are very famous. But I want to change it around time. For example, I want to see the movie in this period of time. Oh, we, we didn't have any movies in this time, so okay. I change it to here, yeah. You can see in this uh, the duration, we just have uh, India, uh, Germany, uh, which is the country, United Kingdom, and the United States. Yeah, 
and uh, we can see the drama is very famous it is just a uh, for in this specific duration and y y you can work with this data and see different uh, analysis and different visualization go to movie table in this visualization we have the another uh, visualize in this page we can see uh, the data about the movie at the first we have the list of the movie all movies the director the genre the country and the groups but you can search the movie name for example i want to see uh, lord of the ring my favorite movie i search it you can see the lord of the ring here it is, uh, you know, made by Peter Jackson, the genre, the New Zealand, and we can ha even have search by the director. For example, the Nolan, you know, just made this uh, movie. You can say all director is Nolan, and it is all movies that are made with Nolan. If uh, you are interested in the genre, for example, you want to see some fantasy movie, you can see search all, uh, sorry, I just unselect all of them and I just search the fantasy movie, you can see all fantasy movie or I come back to the first and about the country. For example, I was just want to see the movie that is made with Canada. You can see this movie is made with Canada and you can search all of them just for Canada. It is just a, uh, you know, overview and go into detail about the data. And the last thing is about when you go to every single row movie here, you can see the tooltip is changed. For example, if I uh, hover most here, you can see a lot of information about these movies the name of the movie the director the writer the score the uh, you know the actress is Robert Downey the budget and the year that movie is made for other things if I change to all data for example the Shawshank Redemption uh, and other variable it is just a thumbnail and I customize this thumbnail uh, like this I create the other page for tooltip and I put the data here for example the name of the movie you can see the visualization here the name of the movie uh, the average score the first score and the budget or director or writer and I add this tooltip for this chart for example i go to the tooltip and i use this tooltip here uh, so wh whenever i change the data for example if i change the data here i change to data here if i go to godfathers for example the data is changed uh in this project we uh, could see how we can run pre-process, clean data, run exploratory data analysis or a statistical method, correlation analysis and making dashboard. And in this project we used uh, the Python and Microsoft Power BI. And we can uh, have a good analysis about the data because at the first glance we couldn't have any information about this bunch of data. But with using those tools and these techniques and data analysis step, uh, we can have better image about the data. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for your watching.